Hello everyone, today it's another JavaScript day, so we're gonna do a new video, we're gonna, well, we, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can make and remove elements, HTML elements, of course, with vanilla JavaScript on your website, on your page, whatever you have. So, if you want to check it out, please stay tuned, we're gonna dive into the code. So let's start with uh, how you can add an HTML element to your body with uh, JavaScript. As you can see, we have an empty um, yeah, body. If you hear the funny noise of the rain, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I cannot turn off the rain, so we have to deal with it. <laughs> so let's create an uh, element. Uh, well. And we're gonna do that with uh, in a uh, variable diff element, and we're gonna use the create elements method for that. Well, that's self-explaining, right? So, and in that element, before I turn it on the page, I want to put in some text. So we're gonna do call this diff text and where document dot create text node. So you can put text in your uh, in your diff element. So we the text we're gonna do is uh, Mr. Frontend does Java. And now we have our create diff element and created a text node, but we want to, mm, yeah, put them together. So we're needing the diff elements and we have a nice method for that. And it's called append child. And here we have the div element and we're going to put in the div text. Maybe you're thinking, wow, Ray, that's uh, a lot and it does nothing. Well, yeah, it does nothing yet. But now we're going to gonna uh, attach that div element to the body. So just like my previous video, you saw the query selector and we know we have one element that's called the body. And in that body, we're gonna add the um, div. So we're gonna also use append child. And inside the fun method, we're gonna add the div element. Div element. As you can see, super easy to put in a element via vanilla JavaScript. So now we have this. And let's save a snapshot. And let's clone this. I love, I love JSBin. It's super easy. Well, you saw it in my other videos. And now we have uh, well, the div where inside is the Miss Frontend does JavaScript. So let's inspect that. And we have a div. Let's uh, copy the element and we're gonna put it in here. And now we're gonna add a span around Mr. Frontend. So we're gonna remove this and we're gonna give this one a ID and we 
call it rapper. Not as in the music style, but a rapper that wraps everything around. So we now have the wrapper and we have a span element in it. So we can, we want to, yeah, put in another diff. So for diff elements, and we're gonna create, create elements, and we're, yeah, I'll we'll just do another diff, why not? And we also gonna put in some text, diff text, and you know it, document, document that create text note well I forgot this one so and that is cool right so but now instead of adding this diff to the body we're gonna add it to the wrapper so we're gonna do documents selector and we know how it's called it's the wrapper and then we're gonna do a append child of course just like the other time div elements and let's see what is div e is not run why is this not doing it if you heard that noise that's the heating i'm sorry for that why are you not doing this Document query selector. Is this some? Um, wow, why are you making this so? We have a diff element document create diff, and we put in a create text note. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, we forgot to div element append child and then the div text, of course. You can see I'm also a human. I'm also not perfect. I'm very happy that I'm not perfect because if you're not perfect you can learn a lot so now we have added a element to another element so that was easy right so because i want to show you in my blog post i'm uh, saving this snapshot and clone it so i can put in the link in the description for you so you can Check it out yourself. And I want to just remove the JavaScript. And we have now only the elements. And now we want to remove a element. And I want to remove that span. Class. And we're going to give it a class. Um, we're going to give it a class, Mr. Frontend. So we need a variable. Well, we don't need exactly a variable, but yeah, well, why not? For 
Mr. Frontend Span is document that query selector and we call it Mr. Frontend and Mr. Frontend Span is in the far wrapper element. So we gonna do a document that gray selector wrapper. Oh. So inside the wrap wrapper element, we want to remove child, and we want to remove the Mr. Frontend span. Wow, that was easy, right? So now we know how you can add an element to the body, how you can add the element to a diff, and how you can remove that element. Everything by vanilla JavaScript. jQuery is gonna make it uh, easy, but I think it's good to know how you do it with vanilla JavaScript because sometimes projects will say, well, <laughs> jQuery, you cannot do jQuery or you cannot use any other library. So that's why I want to explain all these things. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you learned it a lot from it. And if not, well, go continue and learn other stuff about JavaScript because yeah it's fun so I hope you like this video if you have some tips or tricks or how yeah someone else can do adding an element removing an element from the page well add them in the comments if you have other comments about the video about something I did wrong or did good or have a compliment or any feedback well put it in the in the comments i would love to yeah hear from you and hopefully see you next time if you didn't subscribe subscribe and hopefully see you next time bye